welcome to the vlog today is wednesday i'm getting ready to go to the barbie movie as you can probably tell i have on my little barbie shirt from zara let me show you guys my little outfit <laughs> it's real simple but i'm just wearing this shirt it says this is barbie land i got it at zara a couple weeks ago and then i'm wearing these pink pants these are also from zara i've had these for a while and i figure it's the perfect time to wear them i think i'm gonna wear my golden goose sneakers today because i feel like it's just the easiest um thing to match and it's like a casual sneaker it's casual but it's also kind of like chic so yeah i'm gonna wear that we're definitely excited to go i'm a little nervous because i've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on the movie so i will definitely let you guys know what i think once we see it but yeah i'm excited i was kind of trying to also decide which theater to go to because certain theaters have different perks for this movie like i saw some places you can get cups and different things like that but i couldn't find any around here that um had like the special edition cups i think it was at cinemapolis or something like that um and the closest one to us was like an hour and four 40 minutes or something so i said i'm we're not doing that <laughs> i'm extra but i'm not that extra so yeah we're gonna go to the local theater and hopefully they have some cute cups or whatever but yeah i'm excited i sprayed on my perfume de molly the pink one i had to because i felt like you know pink it's a pink day it's barbie day okay for us my lips i'm wearing fenty gloss in hmm, i'm gonna go tell you the color right now so it's the cream gloss in bubble binge and i'm not sure if this one was limited edition but perfect and for lip liner i'm wearing charlotte tilbury pillow top three this one here this is the perfume that i'm wearing i know i mentioned it but in case you're not familiar it's delina exclusive so yeah i'm wearing this one i was kind of choosing between this and all my other pink ones and i figured this would be like the fanciest one so i had to do it today i'm gonna go put this on cali got this at the barbie cafe i don't think i ever showed you guys cali wanted it it's from alex and ani and it's a little barbie it's not in here where's your bracelet oh you're wearing it oh she's 10 steps ahead of me Callie's already wearing the bracelet she you have to tag on this is the charm all right so this is the charm it's like just barbie at the beach you said yeah at the beach and i'm gonna take the little we'll take the little sticker we made it Working on a weekend like usual. We're just leaving the movie. It's 8.40. So it's like a, I think it was like two hours, I guess. I thought the movie was cute. What did you think, Kelly? Did you I like it? I think it was good. I liked the movie. I just took my night shower. I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup and kind of chit chat a little bit about the movie. I feel like I, there was so many mixed reviews on this movie. And I really wasn't sure if I was going to go or, well, I knew I wanted to go, but I wasn't sure if I was going to go with Cali. And then, then I heard that it wasn't good. So I was kind of like, mm, should I not see it? But I had to go see it because I, I just had to like, <laughs> it's Barbie. So, um, I ended up really liking the movie. I literally was holding back tears at a point of it. The, there was a point in the movie where I was holding back tears, y'all. Like I was literally... <laughs> like it got emotional i was not expecting that like there was a couple times so one time i remember was when they were doing kind of like the replay of the mom and the daughter i'm not gonna give any spoilers but there was like a little 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 scene with that and like something about that just really resonated with me and like i all of a sudden i'm like holding back to here i'm like wait what's going on like how did it how did i get here like what um and then it happened again at a different part of the movie and i yeah like i feel like if you're a mom this movie will kind of like resonate with you certain parts of it hit different because you understand you can see that happening almost like but also as a daughter you know so yeah it was really good i really enjoyed it everyone was really up in arms about it and i did a lot of research before i went with Callie because I wasn't sure like i went on common sense media it's a site if you're not familiar where parents and also like kids teenagers 
usually like they'll review movies and books and basically like give their two cents on who should see it like what they think and like usually they give very detailed reviews on the movies and this movie it was like all over the place like there were some people saying like no like it's perfectly fine a lot of the jokes the kids won't even get them and like they'll get what they need to get but they won't get what they won't get if that makes sense and honestly i feel like you have to know your kid and like what where they're at in terms of like what they know and what they don't know and what they're gonna understand what they're not and so i ended up so based on what i was reading i realized like this is probably okay for Callie. It definitely was she basically took away what she was understanding and enjoyed that but all the all the jokes except for maybe like two jokes went way over her head like she's not like yeah if you have a kid that doesn't really know a lot of these like little hmm, adult things they won't get the references at all that's my mini review let me know if you saw the movie what your thoughts were um and if did you cry did you cry if i had gone to the movie by myself i kid you not i would have cried like i would have sat there and sobbed like i know when this comes out on streaming i will have a movie night by myself and i will watch it and i will sob like i i don't even do that like there's very few movies that i will sit there and purposely <laughs> go sob but this is one of those movies and that those two particular scenes just uh i thought it was really really good if you have kids and you want to go with them i think as a parent you kind of have to make your own decision and i recommend common sense media because they will give a little bit of they will give you spoilers i was okay with reading the spoilers because i was more interested in knowing whether i should take her or not so if you read that then it'll give you a good idea on whether you should or not take your kid if you have a kid i do a face mask today i feel like I'm, it's a good day to do self-care y'all i don't i feel like i can't talk about the movie without giving any spoilers and i don't want to give a spoiler but there was this like one part where she was like laid out on the grass and i just resonated with that so much it was just like oh my gosh like we've all been there you know there was this man in front of me y'all and he was getting aggravated at all the scenes that were kind of like i'm not gonna i can't say it i can't say it but there were certain scenes or certain parts where you know they talked about like the patriarchy and stuff and i could see him like i was looking at like <laughs> I can see him like shaking his head. These makeup cleansing things have literally changed the game. I love them. The my box. I've gone through so many of these and I've not even had these for a month yet. But somebody was using these. I don't know who was using them. But I, I think I know who it was, but I didn't want to make accusations and it wasn't them. Um, so I made a general announcement that these were for my face. I think it was my kids y'all but they didn't know so i couldn't be mad but yeah i didn't make an announcement i was like no 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 these are for my face i want to do a mask i'm trying to decide between fresh i think i'm gonna do this mask the fresh clay mask this one i have also the fancy one but i think i'm gonna do this one tonight this is what it looks like I just don't really want to get my hands dirty tonight the fancy one you have to use your hands because you have to like activate the um mask and also this one is a little older than the fancy one and i don't want it to go bad so i could already feel it feels like it's already getting to that point where i need to you know get a new one so i want to make sure i use it up before it gets before it's no longer good I just ordered a cake for Johnny. We're doing a little staycation. So um, I want to celebrate it on either Monday or Sunday. So I'm not sure. Originally, I asked the lady if she can have the cake ready by Monday. And she said yes. And then I realized that Sunday would be better because more people are off and can come by and hang out. So I then asked her if she was available for Sunday. And she said she's thing she is but she'll let me know for sure on saturday so it's kind of like awkward because so i tell people to come over or do i not i don't know what to do so i'm just gonna wait uh wait it out a little bit 
I think I'll just tell people come by anyway if we don't have the cake we don't have it <laughs> um we'll probably just get something small a little cheap cake all right y'all i'm gonna go to the room i actually got a package earlier from lululemon so i'm gonna unbox open it up and i'll show you what i ordered i ordered a little set i'm gonna put all this stuff back in the cabinet i usually put the camera in the cabinet when i'm vlogging it just makes my life easier all right, so I got my little packages over here from, from Lulu. I've actually had my eyes on this set for a few months, but they went on sale. Um, I saw it on sale last week, so I definitely snatched it up. So, actually, only the top is on sale, not the bottom. But this is the pink set. So this is actually my first cropped Define jacket. I usually just get the regular length. So this one is cropped. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. So cute. I don't think I've ever seen this in person because typically my store does not have like all the fun colors. Like they'll have one or two, but never like, I've never seen this color in the jacket. So pretty. So this is the top and then I ordered the bottoms. So... I have made the executive decision to always just order sets like right off the bat and not get one piece here and one piece there because what ends up happening is a lot of times like I want to wear something I don't have like a matching bottom or I can't find a matching bottom to like pair with it it just makes my life a lot easier when I have things that are the same and I know already like oh okay I'm gonna wear the black set or the pink set or whatever and i don't know why i never really did that i think in my mind for i think for a while i, I didn't really like sets like i don't like the matchy matchy but now i'm like you know what this would make my life a lot easier especially like when i want to just run out and do errands like i don't want to be thinking about what matches these pants or this top like i just want to know that i have the, these two pieces that go together you know I'd be doing a, a lot more of these like not just lemon but like other sets from different companies whatever so these are the bottoms and these i ordered the 28 inch i usually get the 28 i kind of want to try 25 as well but i think 28 is cute and i got a size 12 in these and in the jacket i got a size 10 Anyways, y'all, it's 1042. I didn't take this mask off. I was talking, Johnny was talking to me about football for like 40 minutes. He came home, he's coaching, and he's telling me all the plays and all the stuff. And I'm just like, Johnny, you're literally speaking German to me right now. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, I was just like, yeah, mm, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. Good play. <laughs> I'm clueless. Like, and then he's like trying to explain stuff. And I'm just like, well, what am I doing tomorrow? Let's see. Tomorrow's Thursday. I need to wash my hair and blow dry it because I'm getting it done on Friday and I want to have that done. So I'll probably do that later in the day. But I also need to stop by the pharmacy. Um, I also need to go to Goodwill. Never made it to Goodwill. <laughs> I never made it to Goodwill yesterday. And it's okay though because I actually started a new bag. Um so it makes it's fine so i'll just bring that bag as well tomorrow I really should have started editing today but today i really could not get myself together for the longest time like it took me so long honestly like plan today was not to go see barbie it was to um edit and also film another video and i just could not get around to it like i was just not feeling the best i wasn't feeling like like mentally like I was not feeling myself like I was just not in the mood you know like I didn't feel like doing anything I just wanted to not do anything like it was one of those days and eventually it was like two o'clock and I was like you know what I need to do something today like I can't just not do anything and so I decided that we can do the movies because it was kind of on my agenda for Friday but I said you know what let's go today because I'm already like wasting the day and not doing anything. I might as well do something, get dressed up, feel better and go. And I felt real, I actually felt better once I got dressed up into my makeup. So, 
you know, a little bit of self-care um, definitely always helps. I, f I immediately felt better. Like, I it was like, oh, I'm in a good mood now. Like, what? All right, y'all. I'm going to go take this face mask off and I will talk to you mañana tomorrow. Happy Thursday. I have a little package that I got in the mail I wanted to unbox with you guys. It's actually from Dior beauty they gifted this i picked out a few things on their site so i'm excited because um I'll, yeah i'll show y'all what i got look at this package in y'all like <laughs> it's so cute like what and i could definitely reuse this as decor like okay On this side, there's the option to pick eco shipping or like the box. I definitely picked the box because I wanted this, you know, I needed, I wanted all of this, okay? The camera is crooked because this tripod is being crooked and I don't understand why, but I'm sorry. It's like leaning like this. It's so annoying. Actually, also, I'm not wearing any earrings on my, let me go put some earrings on. I have some earrings, y'all, because... Okay, earrings on. So let's see what we got. Came packaged all nicely with this. So cute. Okay. And this is the inside. So they sent some goodies, and that's one of the things I love about ordering on these sites. All the goodies that you don't really get when you order from other stores that sell Dior Beauty. So yeah, first of all, we have this bag, which is so nice. Like what, it's a mesh bag, it has the Dior logo and you can store so much in here, definitely like makeup or anything really, like this is perfect. This is really nice. This was free y'all, it came with the order. All right, I'm definitely excited for this. Like actually this could be also like a nice little beach purse, like a beach clutch if you were going to to the beach. This is too cute. Okay. Then, I'm gonna show you all the free stuff first. Came with some more stuff in this little pouch. Cute pouch. Um, this is, oh guys, though, I wanted to smell this, y'all. This is the new perfume. So this is, um, this is called Dior Rivera, Dior Riviera, and this perfume was actually made with Maison, with, this perfume was actually made with Francis Cartesian, which is the person who created Baccarat and Gender Fluidity, like he has his own perfume line called Maison Francis um, Cartesian, so I'm probably saying his name wrong, but he's now in charge of Dior's um, perfume house, the, like I think the luxury house, so like this line, and this is the first perfume that he came out with. So I want to smell it and see what it smells like. This bottle is the perfect size. It's basically like a travel size bottle. Like how cute is this? So cute. Right? Like smell this. I'm a little... Am I smelling it yet? No, not yet. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous because I hope it smells good. Hmm. It smells like beachy. Like... If you asked me what Santorini smells like, this is what I would say. This is so summery, you guys. Oh my gosh, like you have to go smell this. This is so summery. I actually really like it. It has this fruitiness to it, but also it has this like saltiness, like the beach. Oh, and it has a little bit of floral as well. I feel like it really captures, for me personally, I noticed the saltiness and the fruitiness like off right, right away. On me, it smells definitely fruity, like sweet and salty. But not like a bad salty, like the ocean salty. Like it's, it smells so good. So I'm going to put this in my little, I'm going to put this in my closet. It's 0.25 fluid ounces. So it's a decent little size, you know. It's like a size of a travel size perfume and it's free. Okay. Also, I wanted to try Eden Rock, so I got that little sample size of that. This is what sample sizes usually look like, this little thing here. So I wanted to smell this because I heard a lot of people were saying that this smelled like this. Like the new one smells similar to this, or if you liked this one, you would like that one. I never smelled Eden Rock, so I wanted to smell it. It's another popular, like, summery Dior perfume. This one came out, I want to say in June or July. I think it came out this month, to be honest. Um, and then this one is older. 
They do have a similar vibe, but I prefer the new one. Yeah, I definitely prefer the new one. It's a little sweeter and I like the sweetness of it. I'm going to put some lotion on because my elbows are kind of ashy. Also in the goodie bag, we have a gloss. This is the Dior Addict Maximizer in 038 Rose Nude. So this is a travel size lip gloss. This is so cute. Girl, how cute is this? Like This is going to go in my travel bag. This is such a cute little lip gloss this is the perfect amount that you would need when you're traveling and this is the and then also this is the dior lipstick in 999 velvet it's the dior rouge um lip color lip color so cute as well i love their little travel size products and this is a beautiful red it's like powdery Ooh, pretty this is pretty so pretty Honestly, the free stuff they give with the order is fire, okay? Like, I can't believe this is free. This is literally worth some money, okay? All right, next I got my goodies, the stuff I actually ordered. So I got a bronzer. I really wanted this because the packaging, <laughs> it's so cute. The packaging, y'all. This actually is limited edition. This packaging is part of the Riviera collection. So I wanted to try, I wanted to try the bronzer. So I figured this would be the perfect time. Yeah, I didn't know how deep it was, but this is definitely going to work for me. And it says Christian Dior on there. This is so cute. Okay, let me put this back so I don't mess it up. So cute. I love the packaging. It has like this cloth material. I don't know if you can see, but it's like cloth. And it says Christian Dior. Like this is so, so pretty. So that's the bronzer and I got the shade 7 which is the darkest one I believe yeah I got the deepest shade I'm pretty sure number 7 so we got this and then I wanted to order the hand cream y'all know I had to get the hand cream this is the bomb okay I had to get I had to try this I've been seeing this around and I thought this is the perfect time to try it out it's a new hand cream from Dior it's hands lips and Body. Oh, you can use this on your lips as well. I didn't realize. Revitalizing balm for hands, lips, and body. Okay, so this is it here. Careful with that guy. With the wire. So cute, you guys. Like, look at this. Wow. This is how it opens. Yeah. Let's try it. Oh. You got it under the. <laughs> on my lip? Oh, there was a little bit, but I think you liked it. It smells good too. Oh, this feels good. This feels silky and very moisturizing and hydrating at the same time. This feels really good and I love how cute it is. It's thick in the right way. It's not like super thick where it's like hard to blend into your hand, like rub into your hand, but it gives a lot of like moisture. Smells decent. Smells pretty good as well. And lastly, I ordered some lip glows. So this one is Soft Rose. Oh no, I want to show this one first because this one I'm really excited about because it's newer. It's called Sienna. I think these, I think these ones are definitely new in general. So this one is Sienna number 54, and I wanted to try it out. I have the Cherry lip glow as well. It's so pretty. My hand is so moisturized from this lotion that I can't twist this up. This is what Sienna looks like. This gives you a nice wash of color. It's like wearing a lip balm with a little tint. So this is what that looks like. You can see it right here. I also got this one called Soft Rose number 55. This one is like a purpley mauve color. Really pretty. So this is this one here. Soft Rose. Really pretty. And like I said, like these are really light. <laughs> It's right, it's on the side. I usually wear these with the Dior lip oil, so I'll just top it off with the lip oils. So, exciting. All right, I'm gonna put all this stuff away because I have made such a mess. I'm already wearing perfume today, but I'm definitely gonna add this to my perfume, to my body, because I love the smell of this. I need to get a little um spray bottle or spray system to use this maybe like one of those kits you can buy and put the perfume in to spray it because this the one <laughs> this the one and the two 
and the three and the four and also my little purse <laughs> girl stop playing and to figure out my lunch and i'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit it's giving rain i think we're gonna go inside Okay. Okay, turn the camera Turn the camera off? Yeah, so we came back here so I could do some work while Hallie's playing, but it looks like it's about to rain. And I can't be out here with my electronics, so we're gonna probably head back inside the house. But yeah, this I'll bring my laptop inside. I'm gonna bring this stuff inside and I'll just come back. I gotta bring it inside because in okay, case it rains, I'm gonna bring all the stuff inside and then. No, I'm just gonna say see you later and then put the camera. Put so the camera. Here comes the Spider Man. See you later. Bobby was like, Bobby was like, he was like. <laughs> Good morning. I'm looking hella crazy right now. Um, it's Friday. Hey Friday. We missed you. Anyways, I'm about to, it's seven o'clock in the morning and I washed my hair last night and I need to basically blow it out to get braids today. So I'm just taking my hair out of the little um, braid that I did and then I'm gonna just blow it out. I'm gonna try using the air straight to blow it out because this is my favorite. But last night Johnny and I tried watching this movie you guys. It was the most confusing movie ever. I've never watched a movie that was so confusing. We were both confused to the point where we just turned it off and we went to go look up a video on YouTube to see what it was about and that video was basically like this is the most confusing movie this director has ever made it's called Tenet Tenet and it's from I think Chris Nolan and it, like the guy's like this is his most confusing movie and uh, girl All right, put my hair up in a pony. So, anyways, so y'all, the movie we watched, I'm pretty sure, if you guys have never heard of Tenet, it's an old movie, so, um, it's, I, I can't even explain it to you, like, I can't even really give you a spoiler, because I don't even know what to say, but basically, there's this whole thing where this man is trying to start World War Three. This man is trying to end the world and he basically has access to um, this technology from the future that came back to the past that's kind of like reverse. So like one of the first parts that you get a glimpse at this is like in the beginning there's this scene and um, you see something like that was already shot and then the bullet just comes back. So like the bullet came from the pat girl. I'm sitting here watching this. We're like probably 45 minutes into the movie. And I'm like, is Johnny getting this? Because I'm really not getting this. I'm like, Johnny, are you, do you know what's going on? And he was like, not completely. <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. First of all, the movie was two and a half hours. We didn't finish it. We watched like an hour and we had 51 minutes left. So we watched a good chunk of it and we got most of the concept but like the i like it just really if you see it i mean i, I don't want to tell you to go waste your time watching it because i felt like it was just a waste of my time but it was rated really good so typically when we watch movies 
um, we go on Rotten Tomatoes and we see like what's the rating because I'm not trying to waste my time. I don't waste my time too many times with movies. I hate wasting my time. So I look to see anything 80 and above on both of the tomato readings will watch. This one was 80 and above on both. It wasn't in the 90s, which maybe I should raise my standards to the 90s. But um, girl, talk about confusing. Make no sense can't wrap my mind around it i feel like this is one of those movies where i would need to pause it after every clip and like figure that out then play i got it, I got it now like what i'm not doing that i hate those types of movies and I, you know what other movies i hate i hate movies where some of the characters like three characters for example look so similar that i can't figure out who's who i feel like half the movie i can't figure out who's who i hate that they clone tyrone was pretty good like it was a good um depiction of society like it was really well done yeah we definitely definitely love that one it was really good on tomatoes we watched it and it was definitely really really good definitely re definitely recommend that one um anyways i need to what time is it 7 38 i'm doing bigger braids i'm not in the mood to sit for six eight hours so i'm doing something that's a little quicker um, I'm about to get dressed so I just got dressed it's 8 20 but the girl that's braiding my hair just texted me that she's not gonna be there until 10 so my appointment basically moved back an hour wearing these earrings and then I wanted to throw on one of the Dior little lip stuff lip glows I'm gonna wear this one okay so this is sienna i think it looks really pretty <laughs> um this one actually shows up a lot of these little lip glows don't really show up too much on me so put some hand lotion on this is my little lotion that i showed you guys was that yesterday i think that was yesterday oh that felt like two days ago but that was definitely yesterday all right yeah, that's because I didn't vlog anything else after that. I think yesterday I was just so bummed out. I was just... <laughs> yesterday was having one of those days where I just didn't want to do anything. And for the most part of the day, I didn't. Actually, these past few days, I felt like that. I don't know if it's like my cycle in the air or something. I don't know. Because it's feeling like that's what's going on or about to go on or should be going on with pcos if you know you know okay um pcos like sometimes i'll get with pcos sometimes i'll get all the symptoms of, like i'm having my cycle but i won't actually get a cycle so girl yeah i did get a package from skims yesterday so i'll show you guys what i ordered i ordered i actually placed three orders last week i placed one i actually placed two orders last week and then i placed one yesterday because they dropped a new collection so i'm gonna show y'all what came in yesterday i guess since i have a whole nother hour to do nothing um i'm actually gonna wear i just grabbed my perfume as well i'm gonna wear early off socks this one here all right so i got four minutes on this memory card all right <laughs> let's try to make this quick so i got three pieces in this first order my other order i think comes in today or tomorrow i need to double check um the shipped app because yeah i'm pretty sure it's coming one of these two days first i got this little set so this is the bottom piece it's a beautiful blue color this is the soft lounge boxer in cobalt blue so stretch so soft and stretchy I don't think I've ever tried the soft lounge box briefs or what is it called boxers I have definitely tried I have the cotton but not the soft lounge and these feel very soft and like they're like the dresses like the soft lounge dresses the other one the cotton it's a little it's not as soft and like smooth and it's definitely like a little more cottony so yeah these feel really good these are the boxers I got a size extra no I got large girl what was i thinking <laughs> okay they're stretchy so i guess they, they should work but i thought i got extra large 
I don't know what I was thinking. And then in the top, I probably got large because large typically works for me for these. Um, let me turn my on. This is the tank that goes with it, just the same color. I don't think I have any of these either. I have the white cotton um, material, like cotton collection of this, but not the soft lounge collection. And this is a really pretty blue color. I don't think I've ever really worn this color too much. Yeah. So then I got this dress and I got these just for loungewear because I feel like every so often I have to like change out my loungewear because it gets real dingy. And then I had a lot of t-shirts because I was wearing a lot of t-shirts, um, like oversized t-shirts. And I just wanted stuff that was a little cuter and not as frumpy because, you know, I feel like sometimes like depending on what i'm wearing it could also have the way i'm feeling or whatever so i wanted options like cute options in my closet or drawer so that way i could throw on something cute and hopefully and feel my best this is the cotton rib collection so this is the collection that i have my other um set of those in but this is what the dress looks like it's pink such a pretty pink color and i got a large is the tank dress and I don't know what color this is. Uh, it's just as pink actually. So this is the style and it's like this long. Thought it would be cute to wear in the house or I don't know, like maybe I could run errands in this actually. Like it's kind of, it feels like an actual dress, like an outside dress. So really cute. Love the way, love the color obviously, y'all know. <laughs> it's my favorite pink, this color, Barbie pink. I love it. So yeah, got this to lounge around in. I'm gonna, switch my card and then i'll be right back as i was saying i think this is really cute if i really like it i will get another color i really like the green one but i wanted to try one on like one out first anyways i'm wearing my little set today actually from lululemon i showed you all in the last vlog this is the align jacket in black the Al no this is the define jacket in black the align tank i really love the way this fits this fits really good so this is the align tank okay she's cute very like form fitting and gives you a nice little silhouette so uh y'all know i'm coming back for more <laughs> coming back for more of these okay <laughs> and then i'm wearing my align mini flare leggings these i've had for a while <laughs> Are you ready to see? Oh my god. Are you guys ready? Hair is done. So we did jumbo braids. Jumbo knotless braids. I love. I did a side part. I never really do side parts. When I get braids, I usually just do a middle part. But I wanted a side part today because I got a little heart on this side. Like how cute. How cute is this? Like she really snapped she snapped she sure did girl she snapped okay like <laughs> she snapped like a rubber band <laughs> i love and this is what it looks like i think it looks really good i'll have her info down below she's in nyack if you're in the area um she's right across the bridge so it's like pretty close to where she's the county and like north jersey so yeah all right i do have a med spa appointment so we're gonna do that and then i wanted to go run a couple errands and then i'll be back home and show you like what i picked up it could be retaining water or something you could do it over right, so never mind Problem or quick lunch we got the greek salad
can get the magic of Which one What's the I guess. The regular ones are good. Yeah. Well, there's two baths. There's two. Oh, they're indicated. Oh. Okay. This one's the extra durable there. Those are the kitchen. Those are the. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're back home. I still loving the hair. We stopped at Target to get a couple things. We got a soap dispenser for the bathroom. So I'm gonna put the soap in here. I thought this was really cute. And the soap, a lot of the soap bottles, they don't fit under the mirror in the bathroom. So hopefully this one fits. I think it should fit because it's shorter and it doesn't get any taller than this. So I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully it should fit right under and then we can Pump it. It's really cute. It's kind of like the antique looking soap dispensers. So got this. Then we picked this up. This is from Home Depot actually, but it's just a toilet paper like holder thing. We needed a new one. So we got this one and it's gold. It just has like the one has like the one um one handle. And the bathroom colors are black, gold, like brassy gold, and then like earthy so this will so match perfectly did some more of these because we wanted to get some cleaning done and this box has a variety so it has the lavender for the bath uh dawn for the kitchen and then the two extra doable I never tried the extra doable but these are definitely a cleaning must they're the best <laughs> Um, we also got also got a new rug for the bathroom. So I need to mop and like do a deep clean before I do any of that stuff. So we'll get that done. And I need to wash the shower curtains. So I'll probably wash those overnight. So like when no one's using the bathroom. And then um, so we can get that done. And I really need to find the paint that I use. Hopefully I could find it some way somehow. Because they're gonna, there's going to be a patch in the wall once I take off the... Um, the toilet paper holder so i'm gonna try to find it i don't know how i would possibly find this paint um but i'll try my best so i could repaint where i patch working on that and oh my gosh i'm so excited i got an email from cb2 the bed is coming they it's available and it's being shipped out a scheduled delivery for the week after the one come in right now i'm so excited to do like the full I'm so excited. We're gonna have like a little makeover. So it's gonna be so cute. So, so cute. That's definitely exciting. I was really excited about that. I got the email while I was getting my hair done. And I was like, yes, yes, girl. Also, after doing my hair, I did stuff at Starbucks because I had like this awkward time in between. So I went to Starbucks to do some work. And I worked for about an hour and a half. And then my laptop ended up dying. So I was pretty much unable to work it was good to go sit and get some work done i just feel like i work better sometimes at places because especially places with nothing else around like that starbucks was literally just in the middle of the town there's like nothing else there if i go to a starbucks where there's like something else next to it like an ulta or sephora it's so like <laughs> it could be um counter productive i'm gonna start cleaning the bathroom i need to start tonight and then i also need to clean my desk area because it's looking kind of uh, not cute i'm gonna clean the, my desk and the bathroom tonight and then tomorrow saturday i'm gonna work on everything else because we want to do a deep clean in this weekend because we want to have a little get together on sunday for johnny's birthday so we're gonna have like some family over so definitely want to clean up you know morning is saturday and it's a cleaning day so i am Deep, I am knee deep in <laughs> to clean in the house, especially tomorrow we have a little get together. So I really have to do a, like a deeper clean today. Um, and then I have a couple errands to run as well. So <laughs> so um, I started the shower. I just did some Comet and I'm just letting it marinate so I could scrub it all off. I did put in the um last night I put in the toilet paper holder really late I was just like I need to get this done so I did it and I um patched up the hole from the last one because the last one had two handles so I'm waiting for this to dry and then I could go over it with paint 
I actually found the paint that we have in here. This is the can. I found it in the garage. It was like deep in the garage, but I was determined. I was like, I have to find this. Um, and then this is the name of it. It's from Lowe's and I don't really know. Honestly, I can't really tell you. I can't really tell what the name is, but this is like the details. Gray interior. Maybe the name is Winter Sweet. I think the name is Winter Sweet. I think this is the name here, Winter Sweet. And the brand is, I don't know the brand, but HGSW3487. I know someone had asked me the name of this paint and I couldn't remember at the time. I bought it in 2021, so it's still relatively new, so it should be still available. Oh, okay, so so this is the um, HG, it's HGTV Home by Shereen Williams. And so I did get started on this sink as well and then I have to use this paintbrush to paint a little later. Um, I have this cleaner here that I was using for certain things. Still using it. And then I have some soaps here. So I have my lotion from Aesop because I actually put these away for special occasions and then I have a little bit of soap left in here. But I don't know if I'm going to like repurchase this today because I have so much to do. So I have a lot to do. So I'm thinking I'm going to actually put this soap, some of it in here. So at least like these two match. And then um, I'll switch out the bottles for the glass one that I got yesterday um, on Monday. So that's that. Cleaned off these shelves, um, dusted them. And then, yeah, like I said, the tub is baking right now. So we're going to get into it once it's done bacon and then i also changed oh i need to paint this i need to find white paint also i did use this today uh and it worked really really well i used the lavender one of the lavender ones it worked really amazing and this is what i used to clean the mirrors this is also from safely so yeah the living room is getting together i did start the living room already i need to arrange my pillows and i did put the um carpet deodorizer on so it's currently bacon i need to clean the table clean this off i was supposed to get a, a plant for here but i really don't know if i'm going to be able to today so i'll try my best and see what happens but that would require me going to jersey and i don't know if i really want to do that right now so yeah Sanding this down uh, so that it's level, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this this paint. My dad just opened it up for me because it would not open, and Johnny went to work, so I'm about to mix this all up. All right, back to light. try this up real quick because I want to make sure the color is the right color you know like this paint been sitting in the garage for two years I want to make sure it's the right color so I have my little fan to dry it up real quick it's looking like it's the right paint it's definitely yeah this is definitely the color that I used so we're good I am finally sitting after hours of just being on my feet cleaning so whoo it's 103 I've been cleaning literally since like 7 30 this morning so it's been hours okay like ooh. i did put a video to export while i was cleaning because i had edited yesterday but i didn't get a chance to upload it so i'm going to upload that today um i'm just exporting it from final cut pro and then i then i need then i need to up then i'm gonna upload it to youtube so that's going to go up today, maybe around 3, which it's 1 o'clock now, so hopefully I can get it up by 3. I just need to do the thumbnail, and I need to do um, the description box, and then we should be good. I also need to run some errands. The lady for the cake says she can have the cake ready 
I'm so excited because I think I mentioned it, but like she wasn't sure if she would be able to do it. And she told me she'd let me know on Saturday whether or not she would have it for tomorrow. And she just texted me um, like an hour ago saying that she's going to be able to do it today so I can pick it up tomorrow. I was like, yes, so excited because I was like scared. I was definitely a little nervous because we would have to get a different cake, like a replacement cake, but I really just wanted the cake, you know? So um, my mom was calling. Anyways, I thought I switched the battery in this, but I guess I didn't. I don't even know what I was telling you guys, but I'm gonna just get ready real quick, do some makeup because I need to run out. A couple things on my list. I did want to pick up some new hand towels for the bathroom. I also need to pick up a diffuser the one I have in there is finished so I need to get a new one and then I also need um I want to get a wall plug-in from Bath and Body Works like some summer ones for the back room and maybe the living room and then also some faux stems I was supposed to go to CB2 last week to grab the uh, faux stems but I never made it I kind of want them so so I'm gonna try to make it there today. I don't know if I will because today is Saturday and it's gonna be traffic everywhere. It's like the worst day to possibly do these errands. But yesterday I had to get my hair done, so I didn't really have too much time. I also like vlogged so horribly yesterday. I don't know why. Like it was just such a bad day for vlogging. So I'm at my ashy elbow. I took a quick shower and <laughs> I need to put lotion on. So I'm thinking I'll go to CB2 for the faux stems. Need to go to Bath and Body Works, Crate and Barrel, and then for the hand towels, I can probably get those at Crate and Barrel to be honest. So I might just go there and then the diffuser. For the diffuser, actually, actually, my computer is so loud, you guys. I'm sorry. It's like uploading and it's so loud. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I can actually go to anthropology for the diffuser because let's see if they have diffusers at my anthropology because they have like you guys i love capri blue that's like my favorite scent and if they have diffusers at my local store i'm just gonna go grab that because i think it just smells so good oh my god okay they have one in tice's corner so i'm gonna go there to grab it that's my local store you know what i'm gonna see if pottery barn has any full stems because there's a pottery barn right next to cb2 there's a pottery barn right next to anthropology and then i won't have to go to cb2 because it's like 10 minutes closer um which is not a big deal but then when you factor going and coming back it becomes 20 minutes so yeah i'm just gonna see if pottery barn has any faux stems I'll just upload it. I need to go ahead and do my thumbnail real quick, y'all. I'm obsessed with my hair. Like, I'm still like, oh. Like, she really snapped. I also threw on this Fenty lip cream gloss. This one is called Mauve Wives. Really, really love this color. I do need to add a lip liner. I didn't do that yet, but that's what I'm wearing on my lips. But yeah, I'm going to work on my description box really quickly. I'm going to try to be done by 2 so I can leave the house and run my errands. And then hopefully be back home by 3.30, 4. I just made a little change. I usually have a table right here, but I thought I would put it here today. I decided to put it here instead because I've been meaning to get a table for under this picture, but I clearly haven't. So I figured this would be nice to you know fill the space it just looks kind of odd without anything under it so i wanted to put something there so i figure for now the table looks nice i'm gonna put something else on the table um my mom actually just got some flowers so i think i'll put the flowers here right now i just have a candle and that little two candles basically i don't necessarily feel like something's missing right here so i think it's fine for now at least um to be in that little section. Why am I 
the glass, man, I cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Name not close, I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth, baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell a shit it is what it is, but said what I had to. Kelly and I are heading out to go run some errands. So Thank hot, you. like it's, it's stupid hot. I'm gonna put the AC all the way up so I can't even talk to you because, yes. Yo, these fall thingies, fall candles. Yeah, it does smell Just like a candle I use that. I need a diffuser. Oh, look, at the, look at these. Oh, these are candles. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little mushroom. Inside the you smell mushroom. It? Ooh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. There's different it smells colors. really good. And there's bigger ones, like these. Oh, it's cute. I still have the pumpkin one already. This one. I'm going to get this one. Little thingies. Does this come with this? It does. How do you open that? Oh. oh, I see. It's at the bottom you open it. Yeah, of course. There's this one and then they have the... Are those yeah. matches? Yeah. Oh my. For like the candles. We don't need those. I think I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. Why would we need that? For my coffee table. And this little candle thingy and then the... It's a volcano. Volcano diffuser. Loving all the fall stuff, right? So cute. <laughs> I think we're gonna get these. They look They're heavy. <laughs> they don't look heavy, but they are heavy. What type of stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Side hall. So I think I showed I pretty much showed you guys this at Anthro, but we got the uh, diffuser, the volcano, volcano diffuser, this one, and then I got the candle, and then the matchsticks, which I think will be really cute on the coffee table. So here's these, and then it has a little pad right here to scratch the matchsticks. So, the apology was a success. And then we went to we went to Pottery Barn and at Pottery Barn we got a couple things. I needed a towel, like a hand towel, and then I also wanted some faux stems and I got these. I thought they were really really pretty. So, we got these. So cute. Whoa! Are the little sticks? Okay, and this is this is the bottle here. By the way, I broke a nail earlier. I have it in my purse. So I'm gonna stick it back on. Uh, this is it. It smells so good already. I love this scent. This is going right in the bathroom. Put it up here. Take this out. Ooh, looks good. And it smells delicious. This is what I had before. This one's from Target. It wasn't as like strong of a scent. But it was definitely really cute. And the reeds fell out. <laughs> and then also from Pottery Barn, this is the hand towel that I picked up. 
their hand towels are so their hand towels are so so soft it's like oh my gosh like it feels like a freaking marshmallow so i'm gonna um, put this in the bathroom and the bathroom is pretty much pretty gray so it's gonna work it's gonna work perfectly it's pretty gray in here and this kind of blends right into the wall so i'm gonna put this up Why? No, 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 no. Just the left one, right? Why? Step like that. Kelly. We step up in the spot, Kelly. They're over me looking at us. I don't know if they're going to be looking like we cool or if we weird. <laughs> they're going to be looking weird. <laughs> <They're gonna> be <laughs> weird. <laughs> Sunday morning. I've been up for quite a while. It's like 11.30ish right now. So I finished cleaning. I got dressed. And I'm going to start the mac and cheese. I'm going to do the mac and cheese today. Probably not. I don't know what I'm right now. So I just got done with the mac and cheese. I need to actually do my nail because I need to I need to fix this nail. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I have the old nail. <laughs> I have the nail in my bag. It popped off yesterday. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Hello. Oh, you just got done. Okay. I'm gonna buff this. I'm gonna take off the extra. I'm gonna take off the excess gel. The primer. I just got done so did the mac and cheese i got ready i fixed my nail i cleaned a ton this morning before turning the camera on we're gonna go grab his birthday cake but i'll show you guys what we did oh he must be home i'll show you a little bit later i guess what i did in here to my mom calling so anyways the living room i just added the candles i found them so i added them to this uh little candle holder i think i showed you guys the coffee table i added the matchsticks i really like the way they look on here from uh anthropology and then the um throws i washed them i need to organize them a little better but that's the living room i think i pretty much showed y'all what i did in there okay and then this is my little desk area i cleaned and in the bathroom it smells really good in here because of the uh because the diffuser just smells amazing. The rug looks really good. I think it matches really well. It's what the bathroom is looking like. I also put out a couple things here. I put a couple things here just for decor. And then the uh, soaps I poured. I put the other soap in here. This is a regular Aesop hand lotion. I put this together yesterday, I think, or the day before. And then I put in the... Uh, and then I put in the hand towel from Pottery Barn right here. So that is it that's everything in here in this room i actually borrowed these chairs from my mom's sunroom because we're not using her sunroom we're gonna be down here so i just borrowed these I put this to the side somewhere maybe like maybe like that maybe like this yeah and then outside we have some more seating for 
people out here so we have a couple tables well we have three tables and then we're gonna set up a couple games i don't think i showed you how i styled the stems i think they look really nice the only thing that i may change is the gold book i may take that out i'm debating so we got this little plant put that right here So we just set up the tables. This is the food section. All right, so we have the food over here. We have some salmon, mac and cheese, rice, chicken, something else, potatoes, I think. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. And then salad. Just stay here, right? No, you guys are on that side, yeah. You don't know. Ah. 